Hi, I'm Leslie O'Hare. Thank you so much for joining me today. Most of you are aware that I'm so excited about my 2017 Overcoming Rejection and Rising to Victory Empowerment Conference for Women and Girls. I am so excited to launch this conference, as excited as I am to be talking to you today. And the reason for that, I have overcome so much rejection in my life. And one of the things that I often say, from the moment we take our first breath, each of us have experienced rejection in some form or another. And so I want to share a little bit about myself with you so you can have a better understanding as to why I'm so passionate about touching the lives of women and girls and helping you overcome rejection as well. I've been rejected by my father at a very early age. I've been rejected by my mother in my mid-20s. I've been rejected being in an abusive relationship in my 20s. I've also been rejected by society and in corporate America. But I really, really have to give all credit to Jesus Christ that has allowed me to overcome those phases in my life where people just spilled so much, I like to call it junk over my life. But I began to get to a point in my life that I said, no, no, no. I decided to never allow someone else's perception of who they think that I am or who they think that I shall and should become define who I will become in my life, who I shall become in my life, nor will I allow them to devalue my self-worth. And so this is why I'm talking to you, to all the women and girls that are listening to me who've experienced some form of rejection. We all have. Never, and I mean this with everything in my heart, never allow what someone else thinks of you, feels about you, nor dictate to you what they think that you should do, be, or become. The way to get above that is to begin to just get closer to God, build a more intimate relationship with him, get to know who he is more and more each and every day. And what I like to say, every second of every day, the more we do that, the more we spend time with God, the more we begin to realize and remember and think and process who God says we really are. He says we're great. We're his daughters. We're courageous. We're bold. So be fearless and know your worth because you're priceless. You're worthy. You're so worthy that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says that he did not create you, me, to deserve to be verbally, physically, or mentally abused by anyone. And one of the big areas that I think of rejection most, my husband and I have been foster care parents for about two and a half years now. And most of us, if you know anything about foster care children, they have experienced so much unfortunate things in life at such a very tender age. And so they're placed in a position, first of all, they didn't ask to be here. They're placed in a position in their life where they are now experiencing rejection and experiencing seeing things and violence and being abused and being starved, not eating because their parents decide to make a decision not to take care of their children. And we don't know why. Maybe their mom and their dad experienced rejection, didn't have their mother and their dad in their lives. So somewhere along the line, their mothers and dads, who used to be little boys and little girls, never knew how to overcome rejection. So to no fault of their own, possibly, when they became older, their bad experience of rejection spilled over into their lives. And they never had someone speak into their life like I'm speaking to you to say, hey, let me help pick you up. Let me help teach you about Jesus. Let me help teach you what Jesus says about you, how special you are, how he loves you unconditionally. The life, the path that he has planned out for you is so much greater than you can ever imagine for yourself. 
And so this is why I'm talking to every woman and girl today. The future, the life that God has set before you is so much brighter and greater than you can ever imagine. Don't let anyone take that away from you. So if I'm talking to anyone, any woman or girl out there today that's feeling unworthy, feeling less than they deserve, who's grown up fatherless, motherless, friendless, true friend, don't have that really, really true friend. Anyone that's grown up not knowing what it's like to overcome or have the tools to overcome rejection and it's still being spilled over your life right now as a young girl, a teenager, a young adult, an adult woman, today is the day. Today is the day that you stop and you take this challenge with me. The challenge that I give you to do every single day throughout this entire month of November, I believe they say it takes 27 days before something becomes a habit. I want you to do this for the rest of the month. After you listen to this video, go stand in your mirror and look at yourself straight in the eyes and say, I am beautiful. I am fearless. I am confident. I am strong. I am courageous. I am a believer in Jesus. Therefore, I believe in myself and I can and I will do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I will achieve every goal, every dream that God has spoke into my life. I will and I am overcoming rejection and rising to victory. Then what I want you to do is pay it forward. Touch as many women and young girls lives as you can throughout this entire month, every day. And I want you to grab them by the hand, look them straight in their eyes and say the same thing back to them. You are beautiful. You are courageous. You are fearless. You are bold. You are confident. You're strong. You're courageous. And you will achieve every single dream and goal that God has placed in your life. And together, holding hands as women and girls, as daughters of God, we will overcome rejection and rise to victory. I want you to do that. But I don't want you just to say the words. I want you to believe it. Because if you truly, truly believe what you're saying, you're going to follow it through. And you are so worthy of it. I want you to say right now, I'm worthy. I deserve the best because I am the best and I was destined for greatness. I want you to remember that until we see each other again. Log on to my website at leslieohairmedia.com to learn more about the conference. We're going to have great speakers. We're going to get you there if you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to advance in your career, whatever it is that you want to do. I promise you through this conference in 2017, we're going to give you every tool, the strength, the courage to empower you to achieve those goals. And if you're with me, I want you to say victory. Victory, victory it is. I look forward to seeing you. And if you know of any organization, women's conference, youth conference, church event, corporate event that could benefit from helping other women and girls overcome rejection and rise to victory, I want you to go to my website. I want you to reach out to me. I look forward to seeing you, your friends, your mother. The good thing about this conference it's a family event where you can bring your mom, your aunt, your niece. You can bring a co-worker with you. We're going to make it a family affair. We're going to make it a girl's day out. That's what we're going to do. So I look forward to seeing you at the conference. I look forward to hearing from you. And I so look forward to hearing the great news of how you overcame rejection. Go to my website. Send me an email at info at leslieohairmedia.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And who knows? I might choose your story to be a part of my upcoming book. 
I'm in the process of completing my very first book and it's titled, Be Bold, Be Patient, Be Alert, Be Ready, Overcoming Rejection and Rising to Victory. So you might be featured in my book. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Have a very blessed day.